told you that we would give you our re reviews as we go along and we are at six months. So we want to tell you how we've upgraded it, the things that we've changed, what we love, what we don't love so much. So we're going to take you on the outside first and then we'll take you inside. So one of the things that we have been working on is the insulation, which we will get to in a little bit, but the back door. When we sleep at night, this is my side of the bed. And I was trying to think of a way to block off the back door. So we put up this curtain rod. And again, I am loving my Army Surplus wool blankets from 907 surplus in Anchorage. Thank you for hooking me up. We appreciate you. He's one of our followers, so hey there. Um, he gave us two 100% wool blankets. So put up the curtain rod and it's pretty darn amazing. I feel incredibly cozy at night since we did this. There's a huge difference. It's like night and day. Also, when he opens up these back doors and I'm still snoozing, you see my breath? I'm cozy because I'm insulated from uh, cold, you know, because you don't think about those things. <laughs> um, super easy. I'm sure I'll find a better way to do this eventually, but for now, it works. Look at that. And I can adjust the length lower or higher. At night, I keep it layered up, up to the bed, because the heater's down there, so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm sure if I put it down lower at night, it'll keep the heat in even better. But half and half keeps it from getting too stuffy. So in the back here, the storage solutions we've come up with, of course, our firewood is in a bin. We have our hoses in one bin and our winter survival kit in the second bin. We'll cover that in a future video. And then, of course, our clothes are in our waterproof bag specter. This has been a lifesaver for cleaning our windows. Now that it's winter, not really needed, but during the summer, it's incredible to remove bugs. Our outdoor shower, water pump, etc. here, everything's working like it's supposed to. And now we'll move inside the van. So as you know, if you followed us on our other videos, we have insulated or added additional insulation into the back doors. Our exterior where we can plug in. We of course very rarely use that. Our cassette toilet. Everything's working like it should. Gray water tank drain and our city fill plug. Hello! Come on inside. One of the first things that you might notice is I did do wall-to-wall -wall carpeting <laughs> and did it in a previous video where I just cut up a carpet remnant from Lowe's and it has been amazing on our tootsies in the morning. It was really easy to do. Uh, taking our shoes off right here isn't practical. So we put another rug on top of the carpet and just leave our shoes right here. And then when we're in the van for the night, I put them right down here on the step. So come on inside. You can of course see where Ember lives. That's her bed. Yeah, when we bought the van, I had no idea that this would turn into her spot. 
but that's okay. So let's show you our storage solutions. We're gonna start at the front and move to the back. In this cabinet here, we have our magma pots. I think we showed you those in another video. They're stackable, there's a, cord, a bungee cord, and they fit up here perfectly. And right now we have some of our other stuff in these felt containers that we got at Amazon. And it's Jim's drone, and if, like I think our gimbal is in there as well. And we still have a bunch of extra space that we haven't utilized yet. And moving back to the bathroom, closet, however you like to use it. We like to use it as both. I love the cassette toilet. At first I wasn't sure about it, but it is so easy to use. I no longer have to go out there. I also love the shower. I've showed that in other videos as well. Having the shower has been a godsend compared to what we used to do in the past when we were winter camping. Hmm, this has just been fabulous. Let's look inside. One of the things that we put up, thank you Tim K for uh, giving us this and giving us the idea as well, is this mirror. You just stick it on. And now, I don't know, we can see ourselves. I like the location of it. I didn't really want it on the outside cabinets because I don't need to see myself that much. On the inside, we have more felt baskets. We also took the shower curtain, and thank you, Walter, for this idea, taking the shower curtain and putting it behind the bamboo shelves. And in here we have our, um, this is our bug screens. I don't even know, what, oh, we have some kitchen stuff in here. Our towels are in here, toiletries in here, and all of our chemicals are in here. And these are available on Amazon, and we'll put a link in our comment section below if you're interested in them. What I love about them is they slide out really easily. They hold a lot and th they go back in easily as well. So it makes it a lot easier for us to use the shower. Yeah, it's easy um, set up and break down with it. Also, it prevents anything that's in here from hitting the door. Previously, before we had these, anything that we had stored up here would hit the door. It doesn't do that anymore. So one of the things that we're about to do is install this SOG unit, and that'll come up in a future video. But this allows us to go chemical free on the cassette toilet, which will be very handy because we end up going through a lot of chemicals when we have to dump the toilet. Haven't had much of an issue with it smelling like a motorhome toilet. Our drawers have accumulated a little bit more stuff. These are the handles to our magma pots, some spoons and knives and forks. This is all of our kitchen cutlery. I really started to like this, by the way. Oh. Um. Definitely need to find a better place for a knife. Kitchen cutlery, and then down here is my girl stuff. Our double stick tape and Velcro. A godsend. Up here. I've told you that we're minimalists, and this kind of shows that we are. We have, we actually have four bowls. There's one in the fridge that has leftovers from last night. Um, paper plates, but we tend to use the plastic more often. Our coffee, tea kettle, dish soap, and two cups. Food pantry, coffee, one whole shelf for coffee stuff. I also like to keep a bunch of canned goods. Um, they're sort of my just in case. Same with the boxed stuff as well. 
Uh, we can't always find a grocery store with fresh food, so we tend to keep canned stuff and box stuff in there just in case. My thoughts on the fridge are the same as when we first bought it. I knew that it was going to be small and learning how to live with a small fridge has been um, a learning experience for sure. It, we keep a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables as much as we can. Mostly, we are at the end of several days out here boondocking. We have a lot of condiments until we like our uh, sauces. And I have onions, eggs, cheese, mushrooms, chicken, milk, fireball, all the necessities. So we could actually go for a few more days with all the food that we have. But I think we need to hit up the grocery store today and get some more vegetables and some more meat. And we have plenty of room in there. And Jim put this shower rod up here because anytime we get like a wet coat or if our socks get wet or anything gets wet, we can just drape it up in here and it dries off pretty quickly. The other thing that we have, and we went back and forth on this for about a week and just trying to figure out a solution to blocking off the cab area from the living area. These windows, let out a lot of heat. And when we decided that when we were gonna put something up here, we were gonna just make it a lot more cozy and comfortable for us. So again, I have two wool blankets, so why not use this one? Some heavy duty Velcro. I just stuck it in the, on the inside. Put heavy duty Velcro up here on the headliner. And, oh. The thing I like about wool, and the reason why I wanted to use wool, well, we considered other solutions like a heavy blanket, is because it's moisture resistant and mildew resistant and antibacterial, and wool has a lot of great properties to it. Plus, why not upcycle and reuse? Jimmy, does it make you feel like the good old days by looking at this? And yes, Jim has slept under these blankets a lot in his life. It's very, very sticky. So what have we discovered by putting this up at night? It has helped maintain heat inside this area of the van and reduce condensation on our windows. When we have the shades up, um, we noticed that there was condensation being created between the shade and the window, and it was quite a bit of it. Now when we wake up in the morning, we have very little condensation on the front windows just by putting this simple barrier up. Will I upgrade it in the future? Maybe, but right now it works out really well. The other thing I want to talk to you about is the acrylic windows. There have been a lot of questions about these. The Rebel has Dometic acrylic windows. It, they're warm. <laughs> I know this sounds silly, but I'm um, touching it right now and I do not feel cold at all. They're double paned and we really were not sure about these at first, but if we had glass windows, we'd be needing to put a cover on it and we'd be freezing. Another upgrade that we did was we added insulation underneath the cabinet. Jim went up to Tuktoyuk Tuk this summer, up to um, Prudhoe Bay as well, and the roads were extremely dusty, and we found that the bottom drawer was just full of dust, and we originally thought that it was the back door. Once we pulled out this bottom drawer, we discovered that there was a gap, and we took Havelock wool and filled that gap in, and now um, it's been amazing. We also insulated behind the pantry with insulation there was about a four inch gap at the top and then a bigger gap at the bottom and that just helped create a barrier between the outside and the inside we also insulated the back doors in the sides of the van and I have to tell you it has just been a godsend because when I'm sleeping back there I feel like I'm in a little cozy cave it is super comfortable and cozy for now this is where we keep our fresh water, our drinking water for Ember and for us. And of course the wine over there, that's a necessity. Back here, 
and it blows out heat. We try to keep that from getting locked. At night, it keeps this bedroom area very, very cozy and warm. This is our bedroom. It's kind of a mess. I half made the bed today, but you can see the blanket from the inside and how much it blocks off that door. I tried to raise the rod up, um, however, that was a challenge, so I'll figure it out so I can get it flush with the top there and still be able to open the doors, but for now it's working perfectly for us. We like our chargers back here. At night we can recharge our phones. We also put a rod in right above the bed. That way we have additional hanging storage space if we need it. However, we haven't needed it yet. This is my cozy little safe, happy spot where I can read, play on my phone, watch movies. I love it back here. Well, we promised to tell you what we like and dislike about the Rebel. First of all, what I like is that it has taken us to places that we never dreamed that we would actually go. We can spend as much time off grid as we want to and everything seems to sustain itself pretty well. Yeah, it's taken very good care of us. Um, One of the things we're having to learn now that it's winter time though is our power consumption because there's less daylight uh, charging our batteries so we have to be more aware of what we're using and not using yeah last night we we stayed up until three o'clock in the morning watching a movie we were watching glass and our power went down pretty low so this morning we had to get up and start the engine and it didn't take much to give us enough power to make coffee water lasts us quite a while so we carry separate drinking water as we've talked about in a previous video all the water that we use is either for flushing the toilet, uh, taking a shower, or doing dishes. So 20 gallons of water lasts quite a while. I never imagined that we would be doing our six month review uh, at 30 degree temperatures. I think that one of the challenges will be to keep the snow off the solar panels because even though it's been snowing like for two days out of where we were at right now, um, we were still getting a solar charge, which is pretty impressive just not as much as during the summer, yeah. unfortunately. Um, yeah, this summer we were, uh, we got spoiled by how much solar we got up here, but with 24 hours of sunlight, you can't, can't really beat that. If you have any questions about any of the upgrades that we've done or our storage solutions, just ask in the comments down below. We always respond or maybe we'll make a video out of your question. Yeah, sometimes we do that. If you have any ideas, we like to run with it. We get asked a lot, how do you store your stuff? What's been most recent? What kind of campfire do you like? That was a cool question. We like questions like that. It gets us thinking. You know, when he asked what kind of campfire we like, we didn't realize there was actually a lot more options out there than what we actually use. So we appreciate your questions in the comment section or anything that you have to say. It doesn't necessarily have to be a question, but we love hearing from you. We had a really great time here and I always have a hard time leaving these beautiful spots that we find, but there's always another beautiful spot right around the corner. We have some great stuff planned for you this winter as well. So if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're just now joining us, you're interested in winter van life and you wanna see the crazy stuff that we have coming up this winter, hit that subscribe button and ring our bell. If you have anything to say or you have any questions or even if you just wanna say hi, as always, leave us a comment in the comment section below. We will always respond to you. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you later.